Hello my fellow believers and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial. In this video we'll be building this gothic themed church. You'll want to start by clearing out an area of 15 blocks by 27 blocks for the build. These are the materials you'll need and as always you may have some placeable blocks left over at the end. Now let's build. For the front of the building come to one of the 13 long sides and add a dark oak door on the inside of the very centre block. On top of the orange concrete blocks add a two high pillar of strip spruce logs. On top of the log pillars add a smoker making sure it's facing into the centre of the building. Then add another two high pillar of strip spruce logs on top of the smokers. In front of the pillars on all four sides of the building add a spruce stair in front of the bottom log. Add an upside down spruce stair in front of the top spruce log. And connect the stairs with a three high pillar of spruce fences. Add one of these banners in front of the upside down spruce stair of the two wind pillars next to the door. Above the dark oak door add an upside down deep slate brick stair. Then add a deep slate brick block and cobble deep slate block on top of the stair. For the walls in between the wood pillars I'm going to create a 5 high gradient wall using deep slate bricks, cracked deep slate bricks and cobble deep slate. In front of the walls at the sides of the door add a 2 high pillar of upright spruce trap doors whilst looking away from the centre of the wall. In between the wood pillars and the spruce trap doors add a 3 high pillar of spruce trap doors this time where you look towards the centre of the wall. Above the 2 high trap doors add an upside down spruce stair. Add a spruce trap door on top of the stairs. In between the trap doors add a spruce slab at the bottom of the block. Then hang a soul lantern under the slab. Above the upside down spruce stairs add a 15 wide layer of upside down polished deep slate stairs. Above the two edge stairs add a polished deep slate block. Then top the rest of the stairs off with a note block. On top of the note blocks and polished deep slate blocks add a 15 wide layer of upright polished deep slate stairs. Above these stairs go one block in towards the centre of the build and add a two high pillar of deep slate tiles one block in at both sides. Going in towards the centre of the wall add a four high pillar of deep slate tiles next to the pillars we just placed. Connect the two sides with a layer of smokers again making sure the smokers are facing into the centre of the build. Above the two end smokers add a five high pillar of deep slate tiles. Next to these pillars add a seven high pillar. Add a two high pillar. On top of the two high pillars add a three high pillar of cyan stained glass blocks. Then add a three high pillar of deep slate tiles on top of the glass. At the bottom connect the two high deep slate tile pillars with a one high layer of deep slate tiles. On top add a 3x5 wall of cyan stained glass. On top of the edge glass blocks add a 4 high pillar of deep slate tiles. Then on top of the centre glass add a 5 high pillar of deep slate tiles. Behind the glass add a layer of sea lanterns to give the window a nice glow. Add a 5 high pillar of spruce fences in front of the centre section of glass. Then add a 2 wide layer of spruce fences at the sides of the centre fence. Add a spruce trap door against the fences at the top, bottom and sides. At the sides of the fence above the bottom trap door add a spruce stair facing into the centre of the window. To the outside of the stairs add a spruce slab at the top of the block. Add a spruce stair facing into the centre of the window on top of the slab. At the sides of the fence below the top trap door add an upside down spruce stair facing into the centre of the window. To the outside of the stairs add a spruce slab at the bottom of the block. Then add an upside down spruce stair facing into the centre of the window under the slab. Over at the back wall start by adding our 5 high gradient walls of deep slate bricks, cracked deep slate bricks and cobbled deep slate in between the log pillars. Above the upside down spruce stairs add a 15 wide layer of upside down polished deep slate stairs. Above the two edge stairs add a polished deep slate block. Then top the rest of the stairs off with a note block. On top of the note blocks and polished deep slate blocks add a 15 wide layer of upright polished deep slate stairs. Above the stairs go one block in towards the centre of the build and add a two high pillar of deep slate tiles one block in at both sides. Going in towards the centre of the wall add a four high pillar of deep slate tiles next to the pillars we just placed. Connect the two sides with a layer of smokers again making sure the smokers are facing into the centre of the build. Above the two end smokers add a five high pillar of deep slate tiles. Next to these pillars add a seven high pillar. Add a three high pillar. On top of these pillars add a three high pillar of cyan stained glass panes. Above the glass add a 2 high pillar of deep slate tiles. On top of the centre smokers add a 3x2 wall of deep slate tiles. Then add a 3x5 wall of cyan stained glass panes. On top of the edges of this glass wall add a 3 high pillar of deep slate tiles. Then above the centre of the glass add a 4 high pillar. At the bottom of the window add a spruce stair in front of the corner glass facing into the centre of the window. Add a spruce trap door in between the stairs. Then add another spruce trap door to the top of the block under the trap door we just placed. Next to the stairs add a spruce trap door to the top of the block. Add a spruce stair on top of the trap doors. In front of the corner glass at the top of the window add an upside down spruce stair. In between the stairs add a spruce trap door. Add another spruce trap door on top of the trap door we just placed. Next to the stairs add a spruce trap door to the bottom of the block. Add an upside down spruce stair under the trap door. In between the spruce stairs at the sides add an upright trap door. Then finish this wall by adding an upright trap door next to the trap doors we just placed. Next you want to repeat the following steps for both of the side walls. First add another one of our 5 high gradient walls in the gap beside the two corner log pillars. In the other three spaces add a layer of deep slate bricks on top of the outline. Above the centre deep slate brick block in each of the gaps add a spruce slab. At the sides of the slab add a spruce stair facing into the slab. Above the stairs add a two high pillar of upright spruce trap doors. On top of the trap doors place an upside down spruce stair. Connect the stairs with a spruce trap door at the top of the block. 
and fill in the gaps between the windows and log pillars with more of the gradient walls. Above the upside down spruce stairs add a 25 wide layer of upside down polished deep slate stairs, top the stairs off with a note block. On top of the note blocks add a layer of upright polished deep slate stairs. Above these stairs go one block in towards the centre of the build and add a deep slate tile block at the edges. Going towards the centre of the wall add a three wide layer of smokers, again making sure the smokers are facing into the centre of the building. Continue into the centre of the wall and add a two wide layer of deep slate tiles. Add a two wide layer of smokers. Then add another two wide layer of deep slate tiles. Meet in the centre with a three wide layer of smokers. Then add a layer of deep slate tiles on top. Now for the interior start by replacing the floor on the inside with spruce planks. For the walls start by adding a three wide layer of acacia wood behind the windows. Add a three by four wall of cyan stained glass panes behind the windows. Then surround the rest of the bottom of the walls with upright acacia logs. In front of each section of the walls add a ring of black glazed terracotta. Fill the gaps in the walls with black concrete. Then top the walls off with deep slate tiles. At the front of the room add panels on the walls between the door and windows. Then on the walls between the first and second window add an iron bar topped off with a soul lantern. Then at the back of the room add more panels. In front of the back wall add a 9x4 platform of spruce planks. In front of the planks at the left add a 6 wide layer of upside down spruce stairs. To the right add 2 upright spruce stairs. To the right again add another upside down spruce stair. On top of the stair we just placed add a spruce fence with a soul lantern on top. Over at the left add spruce fences topped with soul lanterns on top of the edge upside down stairs. Then join these two fences with spruce fence gates. In the back left hand corner add an armour stand with black leather armour to act as dark robes. In front of the two edge pieces of black concrete on the back wall add a lightning rod topped with a lit black candle. Two blocks behind the fence gates add two dark oak fences with a space between them. Add red carpets on top of the fences. Place a lectern with a book and quill between the fences. Place upright dark oak trapdoors against the sides of the fences. Then add two red and one black banner in front of the fences and lectern. Over at the right next to the window add an upside down dark oak stair against the wall. Place an upright dark oak trapdoor to the right side of the stair. To the left add a cauldron filled with water. In front of the cauldron add a white banner to act as a towel. Then on top of the stair add an item frame filled with beetroot soup. Two blocks in front of the altar add three upright spruce trap doors. From two blocks forward then add another three upright spruce trap doors while facing the trap doors we just placed. Then add an upright spruce trap door at the sides between these trap doors. In the space at the left add a skull on the ground. Fill the gaps next to the skull with two spruce trap doors. Then on top of one of the trap doors add a potted willow rose and there you have a coffin. For the seats come back two blocks from the coffin towards the door and add a five wide layer of dark oak slabs. Add upright dark oak trap doors to the sides and back of the slabs. Then one block behind the back trap doors repeat these steps to add another three rows of seats. In front of the walls at the sides of the door add two upside down dark oak stairs in the centre of the wall. Add an upright dark oak trap door to the sides of the stairs. In front of one of the tables add two light grey carpets on the floor. On top of the table in front of the carpets add an amethyst bud and some lit red candles to create a little prayer area. On top of the other table add two item frames with a book in one and a piece of raw gold in the other. Take a piece of dead horn coral and right click on the stair with the item frame and raw gold in it to make a little bowl with gold coins. Then in front of the same stair add a sign that says donations. Add some light grey dye and glow to the sink. Then to the sides of the tables add a lightning rod topped off with a lit black candle. Coming up to where the smokers are in the walls add horizontal strip logs going from the front wall to the back wall just above the smokers. In the centre of these logs add horizontal spruce logs going out to the side walls. Then coming out six blocks to the left and right add more horizontal spruce logs going towards the side walls. Add stone buttons on top of the logs that connect to the logs going out to the side walls. Add some cobwebs, dead horn coral fans and pointed drips on top of the logs. Underneath the log that connects to the logs going out to the side walls above the or hang two chains. Under the chains add two iron bars. Extend the sides of the bottom iron bar out with another iron bar. On top of the iron bars we just added place a lit black candle. Then under the back logs that connect to the logs going out to the side walls repeat these steps only this time use three chains and red candles for the middle chandelier. For the roof come to one of the side walls and you want to repeat these steps at both sides. Start by adding a 27 wide layer of upside down polished deep slate stairs in front of the top layer of deep slate tile blocks. Come in one block from the edges of the stairs and on top add a polished deep slate wall with an upside down lightning rod on top. Then add another 5 walls with upside down lightning rods on top leaving a 3 block gap in between the walls. Connect the walls with 3 horizontal chains. On top of the deep slate tile blocks add a cobbled deep slate block topped off with a cobbled deep slate stair. Come one block up and behind the stairs and add another row of cobbled deep slate blocks topped off with cobbled deep slate stairs. Again 
then come up in another block and add another layer of cobble deep slate blocks topped off with cobble deep slate stills. Now come up in another block and add a layer of cobble deep slate stills. Do another layer of cobble deep slate blocks topped off with cobble deep slate stills. Then add a final layer of stills. In between the stills come up a block and add a 27 wide layer of polished deep slate blocks. On top of the edge polished deep slate blocks add a 3 high pillar of polished deep slate walls. Then add an extra wall at the sides of the middle wall to make a cross. Behind the walls going towards the centre add an iron bar. Add more iron bars skipping every other block. Between the iron bars add a polished deep slate wall with an upside down lengthening rod on top. Next you'll want to repeat these steps at the front and back of the building to add an overhang to the roof. Start by adding an upside down polished deep slate stair under the polished deep slate block at the top. Hang a chain and a soul lantern under this stair. At the sides of the upside down stair add a polished deep slate stair facing away from the building. Underneath add an upside down stair facing into the centre. Add the right side up stair against the back of the stair. Underneath add a polished deep slate block with a polished deep slate stair under it facing into the centre of the build. Add the right side up stair against the back of the stair. Place an upside down stair facing into the centre of the build under the stair we just placed. Add a right side up stair against the back of that stair. Underneath add a polished deep slate block with a polished deep slate stair under it facing into the centre of the build. Repeat these steps two more times to complete the overhang. Then finish the build by coming back inside and adding cobwebs, dead horn coral and pointed dripstone around the top of the walls and roof. And there we have it, your new gothic church is ready for your first cult meeting. You can find screenshots of the finished build on my Instagram and Twitter link below. If you want to change up the build, you could swap out the deep slate blocks for blackstone which will make the build look different while still keeping the dark and mysterious look and feel. You could also swap out the black glazed terracotta for a darker block and switch the red candles with all black candles to make the interior even darker and more mysterious. Thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe for more Minecraft content in the future. But until then, I'll see you later. Bye.